The thing is, though, for as, as a consumer, you're probably excited because a lot of your shows are coming back. And for us, as you know, actors and people that work in the industry, too, it's like we have a lot of thoughts on what's happening because a lot has changed and the contract is it good, is it bad? We're gonna top right now because now it's time to get into it. Come on. The very first thing that I want to dive right into, I was going to start someplace else. I'm going to start here because it makes more sense. I want to talk about the SAG strike for a second because the SAG strike is finally done. It's done. It's fucking done. We got that figured out. I mean, of course, we still have to vote. Well, ish. And on Tuesday, it'll go to the membership and they will vote. And honestly, people won't get back to work. I, I can't in any world imagine it not to pass. Honestly, it's going to pass. Now, of course, the board actually voted on it. The national board votes first, and then it goes to the membership. And they voted today, and 86% said yes. Normally, in a situation like this, 100% it's done. So you might wonder, why why is that a thing? And, and people were actually asked that during they had a huge press conference today with Fran and, and Duncan Crabtree, Ireland, they were talking about it. And they said, well, you know, it's percentage-based, but... I think it comes down to the residuals for streaming. I think that's probably why, if you ask me as an outsider, but also very involved looking at it because they didn't get what they wanted for residuals. I'll, I'll say that right now from what they've said. Yes, there is a system now for, for streaming residuals, but it's more of a bonus thing. So they're saying they're calling it the bonus fund concept that allows the union to use studio mer uh, mechanism to distribute money to actors. So they'll put money into a fund and then they'll give that to the actors of shows that have done well. It's a, it's a bonus for if a show does well in their books. The writers have the same kind of deal, but they said if 20% of the people are watching it and it's, actually streaming well and they'll give you bonuses the higher it gets the bigger the bonuses and so actors can get money based off that but if it's below 20 percent, you're getting nothing and fran said today she's like well maybe next one we'll be able to get it to 10 percent. you know if it does 10 percent of your users use it then you get a bonus but as of now if 20 percent of the people actually that's that, that have memberships watch it you'll get a bonus. But again, that's not normally how residuals work. So I think that's why people didn't really go for it. But if you're a background artist or, or an extra, it's pretty big. 11% the first year you get a raise. 11% right now. The second year, you get 4% and then 35 for the third percent uh, for the uh, third year of the contract. And for general actors, it's a 7% raise up front, then 4% the second year, then 35 for the third year. And they had an increase of the background numbers, if you have like the East Coast and West Coast, so I've been separate. Like there's always like less people that are union in the West Coast as opposed to the East Coast. East Coast also had uh, actors that would get, or I say background artists that would get, you know, rain bumps, night bumps, all this yeah, they shit. they way better money. Way, than we way do. better. But they've actually made at least the number of background actors that are unionized on a set equal to the East Coast in this nice. contract, which is very nice, you know. But it's still, it's like, I mean, it's minor. Of course, they're talking about it again on top of that, that hair and makeup for everybody is going to be a thing. And now be able to take care of everybody for hair and makeup as opposed to before it was only certain people get hair and makeup on set so it doesn't matter now that's done that's nipped in the bud who AI. cares that's so stupid I, I know. Why, is that, why is that even a sticking point that's stupid i know but the ai thing is also a big thing to bring the ai thing they said that actually that's done that was what took them for the longest to actually figure out was the ai thing and up to the like the last day uh, they were working the verbiage and the actor union actually was like, we have to have X, Y, and Z there. They were trying to get like, you know, they're trying to use dead actors without consent from the estate. They wanted to actually be able to use parts of your likeness. If they use like you smile or some shit or a certain way you move, they were going to combine. It's a weird thing. They were combined multiple they're actors. No, they were combined. Yeah. Multiple actors so movements to recreate the character. Uh, they're they're, they're going to use multiple actors to recreate a character. And then Seg said, well, that's not right. If you're going to use any portion of anybody, they have to be paid by that. So there's a whole consent thing now that says if you use any portion, and if it has a problem, it goes to the union, and the union will negotiate those rates. So it's it's big. The AI thing is figured. It's, it sounds like they actually figured it out. Residuals, though, if you're an actor, I feel like for streaming, it's not quite there. And Fran had a whole thing, but hopefully next time it's 10%. I mean, we'll see. Every contract negotiation, we have this situation. Like, you got to give a little bit, but they threw out the whole, they asked for 2%, 1% of gross income. That got thrown out. They asked for like 57 cents per subscriber. And they, the AMPTP seemed to like that initially, but now they threw that out too. So that's all gone. Now there's only this like little fun that happens. So it's interesting. No. I'm a little torn on the residuals. I think overall, though, besides that, it's great that the uh, the background actors and the extras got a good deal, I think. But for a main actress, I don't think this is good. But we're getting there. It's a process. Sabrina, you hear about this. 
Do you think it's a good movement forward? Are you happy that they signed this deal or could they have gone further? Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't know. I haven't read all the things about it. The press conference was fairly vague. Very good. Um, they kind of said what they wanted to say and didn't really take any um, questions and didn't really want to interact with anything they didn't want to interact with, which reminds me um, a lot about politics, which kind of is fucking annoying. Um, so I don't I just don't know uh, 100 percent what it entails. So I'm not going to throw my support behind it, especially after this long of striking, uh, including the writer's strike. I mean, people have not worked in so fucking long that I think that it's like very odd that only 86 percent of the national board voted this through. There has to be something in there that is not appealing to most people. And I feel like, unfortunately, the situation that we're in, everyone wants to get back to work and people are willing to settle. And I don't mean to say that that's not a, a, a fair point. I don't mean to say that that's not important. It absolutely 100% is. But after putting people in these in this position for so fucking long to settle on dumb shit is kind of fucking annoying. So I don't want to throw my thrilling support behind it until I know exactly what is in that contract. What they displayed to us, pretty good. What didn't they display to us is my question. I don't know. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to throw my support 100% and my elation behind something, which by the way, uh, Brian had mentioned this earlier and it really makes sense to me. None of them seem excited. They didn't seem excited at all. Like they're all talking about it. And they're like, well, I, you know, I, I mean, it's, it, they just seem very, like if it were me and I had just brokered this amazing deal, I'd be like, I fucking did this. This shit was amazing. Like I would, I, there would be like some energy involved. I know they're super tired from having to negotiate three hours a day, like three days a week for the past fucking five minutes. Like, but you know what? Just like, I don't understand how there's not more excitement behind it, you know? So um, that's where I'm at currently. And uh, until I see, see more and read more and they send us the email and we can kind of look it over i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be super excited i mean i'm i'm glad that they feel like this is enough but i also really hope that all of this time where everyone was fucked is was worth what they got you know yeah there were a lot of conversations too that just seem like next deal next deal will be better you know and like that's what it kind of seemed like and of course the full details will not come out till monday the the vote is on tuesday and like i said like the you know with wj it was a hundred percent done like like the national board was like yes is the best deal ever and there were a lot of actors that were pushing like being like oh just take the deal right now and i hope they didn't influence them when it comes to residuals everything else seems good but the residuals thing is a big factor that we didn't really doesn't really worked it out and then duncan uh crabtree actually said like this is what i threw out the last minute and they accepted it as a bonus but as a bonus it's a bonus they call it a bonus they call it a bonus they call it a bonus uh rachel after 118 days I mean, there's there's still a lot of wins here do you think that it was the right move to actually sign this or or should they have waited till the end of the year what do you think that's, that's a really complicated question, because uh, mm-hmm. do I think they could have gotten a better deal? Yes. But do I think a lot of people like need to get back to work? Also, yes. So saying if it was yeah. the right move is kind of, it's really ambiguous. Um, I think it's good that they finally got somewhere on the AI use. Um, I know that was that's like most one of the really yeah. majorly concerning yeah. things with the AI. So I'm really glad that that got settled. Um, something I think is... Uh, you kind of threw out there that was the hair and makeup situation. Um, And Sabrina was like, well, that's why we're doing that. Um, Which is fine. Like I can see that from an actor's perspective, like, why are you doing that? But I think it's going to be really good for hair and makeup people. I think they're going to more hair and makeup people are going to be employed because of that. So I think that's kind of, you're right. Um, uh, It's not, it's, it's a good, Picture Fran. Um, I love putting this picture. That's, of not, like, that's not a good bonus for for SAG. Like SAG doesn't need to yeah, fight for well, that. You know what I, I mean? It's, it's a troll for SAG. It's 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 there. It doesn't. It's a background thing though. I mean, for like a hundred years, show up hair and makeup ready. Like it's really not a big deal. Like they shouldn't. And certain productions are like, we don't like your hair and makeup ready. We'll fix you. Well, yeah, but there've been times where they get mad and fight you. Yeah, you know, but now I'll be in the contract. It hurts us when you're not. You're not giving us residuals or you're not giving us other things that we're asking for because no, no, we're fighting saying, for I'm rights of hair and makeup. Instead, I'm that's I, I'm see, I'm viewing it as a separate issue, not as an instead of that. No, I, I get it. I'm just saying that's not something that's super important. No, it was just a little side note that I'm like, oh, good. More hair yeah. and makeup people get to get to work. 
or get paid more for doing more. They're all they're not in SAG though, just to be clear. No, no I mean no, no. Not at all. but there are still people <laughs> in the industry who will be benefiting yeah. from this. Absolutely, but that's their fight to make, not ours. <laughs> I, I think I think what Rachel's saying though is true. There will be, I mean, oh, hundred percent. You'll have to hire more people. A hundred. You'll have to fire. You'll have to hire more people. And there's it's, also it's the whole thing of like, point and it wasn't important to the SAG situation. I'm just like, oh, that's nice. More people will work. That's all. But yeah. when my my thing is, whenever they float stupid shit like that, and I don't mean stupid shit like, yes, great hair and makeup people, please. I I love I love I would love for to not have to show up hair and makeup ready. But for That's me, that is one of the most insignificant things in the world because you show up you sit around for 94 hours so you could show up as a background person you know and and do your hair and makeup to the fullest better than i could ever do on this show in the bathroom before you have to do shit so it really doesn't matter like it, in 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 the grand scheme of things and like last time they had the contract they were like you know what guess what everybody no more auditions in hotel rooms. Oh, now the whole thing was who the fuck was doing that who was doing that Literally nobody Somebody was. I was just Literally nobody sense. was doing that. Also, you get a robe if you're naked. Yeah. I've worked on set for fucking 25 years. Everyone gets a robe if they're naked. That is not new information. Now it's law and you want to tout it as a fucking gain. So, like, I just feel like it's shady when you're throwing something weird like that out there. That is not something that anyone has been talking about this whole time. Well, we got this. That seems like something is fucking shady. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Thank you. Thank you, Peppy. It was just a side note. That, that was all. Yeah. No, I don't, I'm, it's not against you. I'm just saying, like, in general. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, overall, it's like those deals always happen. There's a little things that happen, these contracts, but overall, it's like the big things we're fighting for. I'm happy we've had big movements, and it's a billion dollar deal, they say, which is good. You know, a billion dollars more towards the union. I just think that the residual thing was a big thing. But if you're, if you're a background person or you work as a stand in, like 11% raise is nothing to fucking sniff at. You know, nothing to fucking Get be this. mad about, you know? <laughs> So that's pretty fucking great. So it's awesome. But GR, you hear this, and I know we've been talking about this. You've been you've been in the chat, GR, for a long fucking time. This guy right here Woo! since day one. And you know we've been talking about the strike for a long time. And you hear the details. We don't have a lot yet. We're getting the bare minimum right now. But do you think this uh, was the time to settle, or do you think they should have held out longer? I mean, you're also you're watching well, this in the news. Like, you're what do you think? Like the lady has said, I, we need the. Or actors need to get back to work. I've been through three strikes in different industries, but they suck. I mean, mm -hmm. we talked, Brian, you and I talked about it the other day. People are losing their houses and their cars and everything because they're not working. An actor needs to work to make money. And if the deal is decent, which it seems to be, or they wouldn't have settled, let's get back to work. I'm not you surprised think they, you think, that everybody's going back to work right away like you were listing all the shows. It's so fast, right? Does that surprise you at all? Doesn't surprise you at all, huh? No, not in the least. I mean, they would, the 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 owners were going, oh, my God, we got to get them to work. It's, like, <laughs> it's silly, but it's the way it is. And Get them right back in there. Sabrina, I'm going to get you a copy of my shirt. What shirt? You can't see it. It says zero days without sarcasm. Oh yeah, I don't have that. Um, skip no it. sarcasm shirt. I don't have that. You get me you get me one that says zero minutes without sarcasm. <laughs> it, it just like honestly we be polite, Sabrina. <laughs> I know I love you, baby. I love you. And I can call it spade a spade, even if it's myself. The, the, the strikes are especially hard on crews. You're right, Queen. And, uh, and there's a, yeah, probably 100%. There, might, there might be a strike next summer, too, with IATSE. And they didn't strike last time, but I, I don't think they will strike because I think that mm. there's a precedent now. And they don't have an AI issue. We talked about that before, but okay. there, there are some big wins here. There are some big wins. Can I just one second, really quick? So Lexi in the chat said she's a makeup artist and they treated her pretty awful. And I responded in the chat and said, I get that, but it's not the same fight. And Ryan said it's solidarity and we should all fight for each other. Yes, I get that. I get all of the things that you're saying but me fighting for you is me going out on the picket line with you and showing my support it's not me and my contracts fighting for another union like and i'm not saying that people shouldn't be supportive of each other don't get me wrong everyone should and i love that there were so many writers out there there were so many IAC members out there and that everyone was being supportive of the cause but in the contract negotiations there was no writer talking for sag astra 
There was no writer talking for fucking transpo. There was no writer talking for makeup artists. Just as in SAG's negotiations, I agree there's a little bit more overlap. You know what I mean? But there is no way that our contract should have to do with your contract. And I don't mean that in a shitty way. I want you to be have fair wages. I want you to get what you're deserved as well. But that is that shouldn't be on our negotiating table. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean to sound cunty or like, you know, bitchy or stupid. Like, I, I don't know. It's just, that. It's, it's just it's just like I like there are so many other things that are going on that our previous president could give a fuck about. She gave so we just kind of fell by the wayside. Zero so there fucks. are so many things that need to be addressed that haven't been. And I think Fran did a great job. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Fran did, yeah. You know, until we see the, the, the full on, you know, situation, we don't know. But I'm just I'm just saying I'm not throwing shade anywhere. And I would absolutely 100 percent if IATSE strikes in fucking June, like they're saying they might um, and transfer strikes, I, I'll be out there. Don't get me wrong. I will fucking be out there. I'll be supportive and I'll be your number one fucking fan. But I'm just saying in your contract negotiations, you will never m mention an actor. So it's just the same it's like the same thing. Like you, we're, we all support each other because we all work in the same industry. You, you do, you do your sticking points for your people. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, you do that always, Sabrina. But sometimes it, you know, there's a barrel effect where it helps other people. Hundred percent. I love saying. that. I fucking love that. Rachel made a very good point. Of course, yeah. that would help that. But for me, like looking at all the things we're fighting these people Race for. Rex is right. The content. If they don't have content in theaters, theaters are fucking shut down. They had 100%. a whole time during during COVID where that was a whole thing. And now it's like they're probably super stoked that there's content coming soon. And of course, some stuff's coming faster than they thought it could because they have to shuffle their schedule. And then some stuff they'll finish right now, bring it out earlier. It's what's going to happen. They need summer I mean, content. They can, sure. They, they've been pushing stuff because people can't do press, yeah. right? I'm going to tell you, next summer, I guarantee there's projects you didn't expect to come next summer. They're supposed to come on the fall. They're going to rush them for summer now. I think that's what's going to be the next thing that's going to happen. And overall, though, I still think it's a good deal. And like Fran said, too, it's like it's baby steps for certain things. But the residuals was a big thing. It was a big thing. And I feel like they fell short there. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see all the details. But they really took care of the little guy. I will say that again and again. Yeah. They Which took is care amazing. of the little guy. They never do that. They so never amazing. do that. And then the day it's like, you never see that. And this contract, you actually saw that. It's big.